Hey guys, this is Suresh from Automation eLearn. Today I am going to talk about how we can revert our changes or undo our changes while working on Git. So today we are going to understand all about different uh, Git commands that is checkout, reset and revert. Though there are many other commands as well which will fulfill the purpose but we'll, we'll see how to use those commands as well and we'll also discuss all the different scenarios and situation where we can revert our changes yeah so let's get started yeah so basically there are uh, four scenarios uh, where we can we may need to revert the changes for example when we make a modification to some files yeah so that is basically uh, while working on working area git working area and uh, from there we want to revert or undo our changes the second scenario scenario can be like once we add our files to staging area and from there we'll see how we can revert the changes third scenario can be like once we perform a git commit operation like we added our files to to local repository and we'll see from there we how we can revert the changes and the fourth option is like once we push the changes to remote repository from there how we can revert so these are the four scenarios we'll see each scenario with the help of examples so moving next let's understand the first scenario that is reverting the changes while working on working area only like we made some modification to my existing files and then i realized like okay no i don't want to modify that files and from there we want to revert so there are a couple of uh, commands which are going to help us so one option is using a checkout command and another option is using restore command so restore is something which came recently earlier the checkout was the command and so now we can use both the commands to fulfill our need so working area uh, in git you must be knowing right in in git when we work so there are there are basically uh, one is a working area where we modify our files and there is a staging area once we perform git add so all the changed modified files move to staging area and from there once we we pushed it so it is like commit right so in in the first stage only if we modified our files and then we want to revert it back so one simple option can be like okay i can open the file manually and undo all the changes but that option would be a little bit uh, tricky if that file is very long one and you have modified at many places then undoing the changes manually may cause some error so these are the commands which will help us to to revert the changes appropriately so let's look at with the help of examples how we can do that so i have my repository here um it, it has few files which are already added so let me show you what is the log history as of now okay so let's see log so it has exactly one commit as of now so what i'm going to do is and uh, let's also see git status okay so my m2 file is modified so we have two files m1 and m2 for the purpose of demo in real project you you will have uh, many files of different types but for the demo purpose i have taken two sample files you can take any type of files like xml json or any any other types of files so let's also modify m m1 as well i can add some text and close it so if i'll again perform git status then we can see like my both the files are files are updated one so it is showing in the red it means these two files are still in the in the working area right so that's our first scenario like how we can undo the changes in working area only so as i said there are two options either i can go uh, and open that file manually and remove this line 
and then save the file then m1 changes would be reverted but if that file itself is a very long one having thousands of lines uh, imagine any code file like dot java file and you modified at multiple places then it may be little tricky you know to to undo the changes so there are git commands which are going to help us so first one is a checkout so in in the in the git console also you can see it is uh, giving some suggestions like changes not staged for commit and there are certain options like if i want to commit uh, to add to the staging area then i can uh, use git add and the name of the file if i want to discard it like uh, discard the changes in the working directory working area git restore file file name yeah so we will see uh, both the option like uh, as as i uh, mentioned here like checkout is the one command and restore is the another one so if you are working on a previous version of git then instead of git restore you might be seeing git checkout because th that was old command and now it is being um, replaced probably by git restore command so this restore command is, is still in experimental mode they clearly mention on their page uh, like the behavior of git store may change over the time because this is not the something which is designed properly i mean it is still in development kind of thing okay so what i'll do is git checkout and from here i have two options either i can give a file name like m1.txt and m2.txt or i can do dot so dot means all the files whatever is in working area if i do dot then it will revert all the files but first let's see how it work with the file name so m1.txt yeah and it says like updated one path from the index and if i'll perform git status again then see only m2.txt is in my working area now m1.txt is reverted so i can verify that manually like yeah we have added another line to here in m1.txt which is gone because this file has been reverted yeah and now we can also see like how it worked with the dot so now we have m2.txt in our working area so if i'll do git checkout dot then it will revert m2.txt as well so yeah again we got a message like one path from the index has been updated and if i'll do git status then see uh, there is nothing to commit working tree is clean so this is how we we used checkout command to revert the changes from the working area same thing can be done using restore as well so quickly i can show you that as well so suppose i am i am making some changes here okay and now let's check git status and m1.txt is showing in my working area and as per the suggestion from the git itself let's use a restore command git restore and the file name like m1.txt yeah it is not giving any message but if we check status again then see m1.txt is reverted so there is nothing in my working area as of now yeah so this is how we can use checkout and restore command to revert the changes from working area so there are another three scenarios as well so that i will be discussing in my upcoming videos till then thank you